welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Scargrounds, which is going to be our next donation deck here on Meme Tier Monday, Tuesday edition. This one's going to be an all Freljord deck. This viewer submitted deck is all Freljord, and uh, we're going to try to use the Scargrounds with Overwhelm units. So this is an Overwhelm Scargrounds deck. So we have our things to deal damage to our own stuff with Ember Maiden and Avalanche in here doing damage to our own things. And then we want them we want them to be large and survive the Avalanche and Ember Maiden and then start getting the plus one plus zero. So as far as our Overwhelm goes, you can see we have a bunch of top end. Um, you know, we have Trundle that can turn into being an Overwhelm unit once you play your Ice Pillar. You have your Augur of the Old Ones, which once you have your Ice Pillar or um, Battle Fury or a Field of Rush, it can grant Overwhelm and Regeneration. If we can get Plunder for Ursine Spirit Walker, it will have Overwhelm. And then all of our allies with 5 plus power will also have Overwhelm. And then, of course, our Scar Mother Verena with the Overwhelm as well. Since we're a Freljord deck, we get to play Averroes and Outriders, which is going to be a big part of our deck, granting the top ally of our deck, plus 3, plus 3, and Overwhelm. So a good amount of things to get Overwhelm, and then trying to use the Scar Grounds to, to buff them up, and then Avalanche and Ember Maiden to play early defense for us. And that's that's what this deck is. It's just all Freljord, no nonsense, um, getting those attacks in, and using Battle Fury and Overwhelm to uh, finish out their Nexus. So we'll see how it goes. Like we always do with our meme tier decks, we're just playing it over in normal. Heading on over to the Freljord. <laughs> hey Glidewin, what's up? It looks like you came in right at the right time. All right, channel prediction has started. You can Predict, are we going to win or lose against Misfortune Gangplank? So against Misfortune Gangplank, we'll, we'll keep Avalanche Braum. That's a good start. I'll mulligan the two very expensive spells. And Omenhawk doesn't block Precious Pet. But I guess we should still play Omenhawk to just buff up the two units. I know playing Omenhawk before Avalanche isn't ideal, but it may incentivize my opponents to go more wide. That Ember Maiden's a good draw. I like that as a 4-3. Also, more than a 3-2. People probably don't necessarily expect the Omen Hawk into Avalanche curve. Ah, uh, rats. <clears throat> they didn't play anything else. Hmm. Good options here. Good options. Let us get going. Let's go with the Brom. Let's go afraid you met my shield. The Ember Maiden round start deal one to everything is going to be an important way to turn on the plunder for our Ursine Spirit Walker. Ursine Spirit Walker. I'm starting to kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't be playing the Ember Bane to do Nexus damage to myself. They've done a good job of just open attacking every turn. They've done a good job of that. United, nothing can stop us. Keep up, keep up. Ouch. Good fervor. I would like another Braum on top. Yeah, Braum or Trundle. Troll chance. This gives us five mana left. 
Wasn't sure if I should use the control chain right there. All right, so I attack, they block, I go down to 10. Gangplank's at four to five. Um, then I get to play the Spirit Walker. As that thing. Surround them. Try me. Our land. Looking for trouble? It found you. Okay, we have a couple of big scar mothers. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. You want to attack? Set sail. Okay, I guess so. Pity is for the weak. We take two down to eight. Another fine scar. Just another winter. That was a daring attack. If I do say so myself. So I can... I, I have lethal if I attack right now. So we'll just do that. Yeah, let's do that. Because while I could play, like, the Scar Mother, they could play, you know, like, a, a Gangplank or a Jack the, the Ripper or something that's bigger, and then it doing. makes it so I don't have lethal anymore. My this is still 17, guy. Overwhelm. And there we go. Good job, Scar Mother. GG's. That was a good win. Twisted Fizz with Ionia. Interesting. Why do I keep this 3 4 5 curve? Cool, and then we'll have a troll chant that we can save our spell mana. And then an Omen Hawk? Okay. This is what we call a curve. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but this isn't fit. Usually, when you see Twisted Fizz, you see it with Freljord. This version is not with Freljord. Kind of, it's a little interesting. We'll have to see what it's all about. Okay, so they're they're going to be a mind meld deck. With Ionia of like wanting to rebounce these things and everything with Mind Melt. <laughs> That's probably what we got going on here. Night That's my guess. <laughs> you always bet against Hawk Tags, then I'm happy no matter what happens. There you go. United, nothing can stop us. Big Omen Hawk. King of Trolls. So maybe I should just attack for seven. I also like getting this Trundle in, and you know, like this Trundle's a really good threat. Like I don't think that like whatever blocker they play is probably not better than this Trundle. Ooh, Key Guardian. Silent as death. Snow swallows their tears. Um, so I guess the out if ooh, the Avaros and Outriders will just die at the beginning of the turn if I save. Yeah, if I if I save both of my units, the Outriders will just die at the beginning of the turn with, when the Ember Maiden does the one damage. So maybe I don't save Ember Maiden, and then therefore just save the Outriders. Keep our 3-3 three, three Overwhelm. Man, Omen Hawk going to be a 4-4 four, four Overwhelm. That's so big. There's another one. How will they ever deal with anything that large? Stubbies. 
Fizz. Where are you at? Two. Two out of six. It will be a good spring. We're going to be playing a Fizz deck up next. A, a mind meld Fizz deck. Um, but we're going with Teemo and also with Smooth Soloist. That's going to be our deck. <laughs> Say this is an omen of something big. The dark beckons. No ice pillar. All right, fill the valley. Show me your best. No kills, no entry. I think we'll just throw down, we'll just throw down this, um, we'll just, yeah, we'll just throw down the, the Battle Fury and see what they got. I guess I'd rather them have them, have them bounce the Everos and Outriders than bounce the Omen Hawk if they're going to have, like, a Will of Ionia. I don't really have that much else to do this turn, so we might as well just try for lethal, see, see if it works. And it does. That's 2-0. Oh. Victory is friends we made along the way. Oh, there's Puppy. Oh, Puppy, we got Spooky and Nivea. Spooky and Nivea super good. Don't need Flash Freeze, and I probably don't need Second Trundle. So we'll get rid of both of those, get some Scar Mothers. Alright, we'll set up our prediction. Oompa, what happened? I like the Scar Grounds in this matchup. This would be a good a good matchup to find that. I do like all these Avros and Outriders though, making everything really big. Nothing escapes my watch. Cause yeah, like they do a good job of you know all these Shadow Isles cards are doing little amounts of damage, but the the Scar Grounds would be would be pretty good against like Anivia attacks that do like one damage and all that kind of stuff. We go where the War Mother pays. Good combo. This is our home. This is our the home. Torches. Fight the signal fires. Scar grounds. Me. You're a little late, Scarground. It's a little awkward to play you right now. It takes up my whole turn. If I go another Outriders, then our top ally in our deck's gonna have plus six, plus six in Overwhelm. But I, I probably want to um, have that go with two different units. Let's just go with the Trundle. Doing just sitting here like this. Here. I know. Another scar grounds. Surround them. You'll be forgotten. Be gone. Why would they block Trundle? The only thing I can think of is Grasp of the Undying. That block makes more sense. Yeah, I'd, ra I'd rather have the 4-2 Overwhelm in play than... ...than that, and yep, there we go. Okay, so we traded... 
Yeah, so we knew about the Grassy on dying from that anyway, so I guess maybe that just wasn't that great of a, a play. But now we'll get these Scar Grounds in play. Alright, finally. We drew the card, so now we can play the other out Outriders. Something ancient stirs. So they can't actually attack with Anivia, I don't think. If they're out there, I'll spot them. Yeah, I really don't think they can attack with Anivia. I also don't think we can win. <laughs> this Anivia deck's good. It is. It's great at playing defense. Um. All right, so like if basically if, if they have ruination, I can't win. Okay, that ends the game right there. Many tribes, one Freljord. Our rights fill the valley. So the Outriders and the Scar Mother just attack for the same amount of damage. We each died, then found hope. And that's why the game was over. Because our stuff was dead, and they just get to keep on rebuying Anivia's. This is our time! Eternal Winter! We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. Okay, GG's. Devil. Veggie Devil asks, why no Tarkaz? And this is a... Yeah, this is just a, a viewer-submitted donation deck. You know, viewer submitted this deck to play. To see. On Meme Tier Day. I don't... I didn't make it. So I don't, I don't know why no Tarkaz or... Anything. So Yasuo Swain. I want a Braum. That's what I want. I don't think we're a very good Scar Mother deck. I haven't liked these Scar Mothers these last two two turns because don't let the fluffy tails we, fool you. We don't do damage to our... Yeah, we, we probably need more ways to do damage to our units, right? With Scar Grounds and Scar Mother. We probably do. We have only five total cards in our deck that deal damage to our own things with three Ember Maiden and two Avalanche. And so that's probably not enough. And so I guess Tark... You know, so Tarkaz could be another thing that could do damage to our own units. Augur of the Old Ones. I forgot about that card. That card's good. Now who's got the upper hand? It will be a good spring. Try to keep up. We don't have too many four cost cards to behold, but we have some. What's up, Baldin Yeti? I've been good. Been good playing Runeterra. Yeah, the, the channel prediction thing is really cool. How you get to predict whether they're going to win or lose with the channel points. That's really cool. All right, let's, let's definitely get these Scar Mothers in play before we avalanche. That's a lot of mana they just wasted. Rough technique. 
good results. Okay. So round start is going to stun and kill my Avaros and Outriders. Unless I, like, save it with Troll Chant. The Winter's Claw will purge the weak. So I probably need to do that. So I probably need to cast Troll Chant this turn. We do need to behold an 8-plus cost card before Augur gives um, Overwhelm and Regeneration to other things, but I guess it on its own is Overwhelm and Regeneration at an 8-8. This thing gets stunned. It's number four. Be attacking for a whole bunch here. A sign of brighter things to come. And now the Omen Hawk will be the thing that gets stunned at the beginning of the turn. It'll be the weak card to get stunned. Good attack. Good attack there. I you so that should level up Yasuo. Now I'll be able to frostbite Yasuo so it doesn't strike this turn, but I guess they stun stuff anyway. I'm basically trying to win with just these, you know, with, with this right here. It's a lot of overwhelm. Man. What a killer. All right, well, I guess I could have blocked the nine, I guess. No. Another fine scar. But yeah, this is... This is over now? So we have, you know, it's done, it's done four things at the beginning of the turn. Yeah. And so it wouldn't matter if I would have blocked that nine or not. And Zoe Fiora. So Zoe Fiora, again, we need removal for these two, and we don't have removal, so that's bad news. But the good news is we do have Frostbite cards. And we saw, like, last game, the Frostbite cards didn't really matter too much because Yasuo, Leviathan, Swing, those can just sit and play. And Minotaur Reckoner and everything, they don't really need to, like, attack or block and stuff. So, like, the like they don't need to attack you to kill you. Um, but the Fiora Zoe does need to do a lot of attacking and stuff. So, the Flash Reese is good. Now, the thing about Ember Maiden... I'll, we'll keep Ember Maiden. The thing about Ember Maiden is... Ah, no need to. It could be good at killing a Zoe, but it's not necessarily that great. Cause they're they're going to be playing um, like Chain Vest and, and all that kind of stuff, and maybe they don't even have a Zoe hand. But the one good thing about Ember Maiden is that our uh, life total doesn't matter too much. They would fall by my blade. Fire knows its own. And so, like the the one damage to us with Ember Maiden doesn't really matter. And there's the Chain Vest. <laughs> that 
that's why this is why I wanted to mulligan ever made in. Honestly, not sure about Braum. I'm not really sure about any of these, honestly. Like, both Braum and Trundle are very easy for this Fiora deck to kill. Okay, I like that. That's a good card. Enter, Traveler, and stop staring. This Mentor of the Stones made my play of not playing something much worse. That was a good Mentor of the Stones. That was a very good match of the stones. Is it the mustache? Who knows? First we fight, show me your best. We're gonna have to try to go wide. I never hold back. Try me. King of trolls coming through. All right, well that went about as well as I could hope. I don't really know why the sparkle fly wasn't attacking. As good as it could hope. Yeah, like they're just not even gonna save the sparkle fly, it's just gonna die. Man, we have a lot of good things to play right now. Between Ice Pillar, Augur, Spirit Walker. But I don't really have room. Do I possibly take out the Scar Grounds now? Maybe I do. Maybe we take out the Scar come Grounds on, now. Come on. Now. It's good to be the king. I think so. I don't think they play Judgment. At least I, I haven't seen I haven't seen any of these players play Judgment. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen Judgment yet. All right, so I was planning on playing Spirit Walker, but if I play Spirit Walker, I cannot have Harsh Winds plus Flash Freeze available. So I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play that because I think I need to have both of these available. Because of course. Uh, we need to use, like, one of them to get rid of the Bastion, and then the other to Frostbite. Your move. All right, so we got this. Yeah. I think they were still maybe even taking lethal with all that, but obviously we were just going to Frostbite, and they weren't going to heal their Nexus, and we got it. The only thing that they could have stopped us with was, like, Judgment, but then I had that covered. So that went really well. That went really well. I didn't expect that to go as well, but um, when they're trying to get a Fiora kill, if you can just get huge units and then also have Frostbite cards, right? Like, huge units that it makes it difficult, so they have to use a bunch of spells to pump up their Fiora, and then you Frostbite... That's a really good combination. That Scar Grounds was really nice, giving tough and buffing up the units as well. 
Um, so that was a really nice combination. So with Trundle Scar Grounds with this, we were playing all Freljord cards, but it did feel like we could have used an additional region. Now, you, it was nice to always have a 100% chance of hitting Avaros and Outriders. That was definitely nice. But not being able to kill champions was not so nice at different times. Scar Mother Verena was hit or miss. Um, miss if we didn't have anything to survive damage with it. It was a hit whenever we did have it with like Avalanche, Ember Maiden. Um, but do we need three of them and three Augur of the Old Ones? And, you know, like three Spirit Walkers to go with Trundles? Maybe not. This kind of does seem like a little bit too much top end. Um, Augur of the Old Ones was mostly miss. Also, I guess I guess maybe Scar Mother's a little better than Augur. But that, that could be a spot where maybe we could go to a different region and fit in another threat there. Because I don't know if you really want six... Uh, six six mana cards like that it, it wasn't easy to behold an eight plus cost card either like the avalanche the ember maiden the frostbite cards all good but how could you kill a like a, a yasuo or something or a you know like some kind of champion that you have to kill if you look at other regions to play the most obvious one to go with frel yord and to go with these is noxus but I'm not sure if that would be the best. I kind of, I kind of wonder if like maybe this deck should just play, like just like some vengeance, right? Like maybe instead of harsh winds, like you can keep like the flash freeze, and maybe instead of harsh winds, maybe you just play vengeance, and that can be removal, uh, like you know, good, clean removal for bigger champions and bigger threats. You know that that could be a thing. Maybe this deck just plays like three three vengeance. Um, I'm not sure though. Feel the Rush is pretty interesting. I wouldn't necessarily mind seeing more of those. I think Augur was probably the card I was the least happy with. I could see that. And I guess, so I, yeah, okay, I could see that. If, if you play Culling Strike, because the the Culling Strike works with the Frostbite cards, you definitely want to keep your, your Frostbite cards in, right? You would, never, you would not take those out. So you could just play like three Culling Strikes, because you don't want to play very many of the other regions. So you could play like three... Yeah, three of those, and then um, you'd have your Troll Chant and your uh, Frostbite cards to help protect that. I could see doing that. Anyway, yeah, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. What would you do with the deck? What would you do to improve it? If you, you know, let leave those comments, let me know. What would you do with this deck to improve it? Would you change anything? Would you keep it the exact same? Um, you know, what would you take out? What would you put in? If you'd put in Culling Strike, what would you take out? Would it be Augur? Would it be something else? Do you, did you like the Spirit Walkers? You know, yeah, leave those comments on YouTube. Let me know. I, I want to hear from you. All right, but that's all I got here for Trundle Scar Grounds. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.